What, ca- what kind of weapon would you want? Do you have a Valerian steel pitchfork? <laughs> Shh! Excellent. And fangs. What fang? The hell's this? Yukish coin. Ah. Do you remember him? It's a strange place, Essos. You're right, it is pretty fucking weird. Oh, Chris Pratt lookalikes. Wonder the lad. Take that with me, wear it all the time. Oh. Take, wear it all the time, oh, bitch. I put it in my mouth. <sighs> wear it all times. Oh, he's weird. No, I love Elena so much. <laughs> it's not weird. It's not weird if it's so right. I carry it between my breasts. Oh, I, I would. Carry it inside me. Yeah, Ethan didn't even bother finishing the letter before he oh. sent it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what a twat! When I played him, he was at least cool! <laughs> he was at least kind of competent. What? The grapes in the bowl, there's massive. There's loads of them. They're really small. They're actually melons. Ooh. Oh, was she, ri- was she writing the letter when she got the news that they're yeah. dead? Yeah. Oh. I want to see these grape melons. Can you put that high garden brooch oh. on, please, bitch? The bunch is massive. Oh, oh my god. god, look at that! Look at the head. It's like a <laughs> fucking berry you hanging over the edge. As a wig. How did they ever go hungry with grapes like that? <laughs> Jeez. A gift from Roderick. It's just, just uh, this is just parade of gifts from your dead family members. Pretty much. Pick yourself up, bitch. Look at that you. It could be worse. <laughs> Whoa! God, thank God, I don't have to place her anymore. Oh yes. <clears throat> it's from your mum. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Yeah. But you don't ask, you you play it up like, oh, my, my family murdered, oh no. Yeah. Poor me. Woe is me. One moment. There's so many balls of fruit. Mm. Oh. I thought it was Marge. Why is Marge knocking on her own door? Who the hell are you? This is your room, not Marge's room. Oh, is it? Right yeah. here. Amen. No, it's fine. Come in. What a mistake. He murdered murder you in your sleep. You ruined the game. You burned that. What is On it? these coals. Cold. He's a coal boy. Oh, right. He goes and fills the brazers. He's a coal boy with a very deep voice. You are right. You want some coal? Sorry, Lady Mira. Yeah, wait. Listen to his voice. I'm fine. Thank you. Mother. Of course, my lady. Of course, my lady. I've got to start. keep up a veneer. True. Hmm. You could, you know, fucking do more than one lump at a time. Can you just empty the bucket? I'm no, sure he's, no, got, he's got to go to other places. He's got, no, but he can control when he stops, though. Yeah, and then maybe take a few out. He'd maybe fuck it up. He wouldn't want to disturb her. Also, that would be harder to animate. That's a nightmare. <laughs> or he's had off camera. Or was it for Skyrim when the werewolf bit? And you, the werewolf way turns world in Skyrim and you cut yourself or someone's cut and I meant to fill the pool. It was... <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. That looked dumb as fuck. Was like, so, <laughs> so, really? They couldn't have just done that? Yeah. I heard them arguing about House Forrester. House Forrester? Yeah, that's your house. I wonder actually if the next uh, Oblivion um, Elder Scrolls game will get the 44 treatment where... There's proper animations and characters and voiceovers. Oh, thank you. Because that would be nice. One thing that I do kind of... You become my spy. One thing I do kind of agree with about um, Fallout 4, which the guy that played it said was slightly disappointing, was the fact that there's still the having to wait to go into buildings. Like, there's a loading screen between it. It's not like rendered where you can just open the door well, and go in. That can be helped. And my god. I am. That's your wife. We should play that again. Just, just, just start bang playing. Marjorie a couple of times. Yes. Yeah. Can I have a good oh, quick, quick, quick few one, pops in? Come back and fuck Marge as a different character, but she's already like, well, I could. But then she'd be cheating on John. Yeah. You'd be cheating on yourself. How do you know how I feel about this? You then sacrificed her to Azurahai. Oh, thank you. Oh, Lord, Beelzebub. Who's sacrificed to Beelzebub? 
Gorgeous, my lady. Who's this bitch? That's she's just a oh, so yeah. hand. Oh. Yeah, the hand Yeah. Now that I am to be queen, to have a handmaiden from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. Oh, you you firing me? Uses questions at a time I can least afford. Am I getting arrested? Yep. Yep. No. <laughs> <laughs> Facing a trial. The dragon the killed them. And a child. Well, child queen. Well, still a child though. Yeah. She is also a little bit touched in the head. How did you respond? Which is product of incest. Oh, who Marge look? No! <gasps> Spoilers! Yeah, Marge is Jimmy's daughter. She demands <gasps> some sort. But what I don't know, but. She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. Mm. Why does Rack was completely white? It's like she's a corpse. I knew I could trust hmm. you. That was like um, when we went to a wedding of a friend of ours, and one of our friend's girlfriends, like, she... I was trying desperately not to look at her breasts, but I was looking at something on her breast. Oh, because like, tell me, there was a, there was like a line across her breast, and I thought that it was like a scar. Yeah. But I was trying to look at it while trying not to look at it. Um, What's and then on your tip? Because well, afterwards, Oscar. Charlotte explained to me that it was probably just like a line in her makeup. Because I was like, girls put boobs. Uh, yeah, get boob makeup. Put boob makeup on, like to accentuate the curves. Yeah. Yep. I was well, like, obviously she does. It must have been just like a nail or something if she scratched. But obviously, I was like, when, when she well, it's also scar. to make sure that their face that they put on foundation matches. It's not just like yeah, it's like orange, it's white. white. Yeah. <laughs> well, obviously, she doesn't do well because you can tell where the line is. You should be able to. Oh, the it's skin, Tyrion. The skin underneath is just Bobby. white. Bobby. Oh, then. It's Bobby. Didn't call Bobby. Didn't call. Not anymore. Oh, oh I realised the thing I got with the collector's edition of Destiny is that much more valuable now because it still has. Tyrion's voice. Right, I gotta go. Yeah. Yes, you gotta go. She's away now. Oh, she's way off! She's way ahead of you. Well, remember, hold, hold right trigger to walk quicker. I am. Oh. Jesus. Fucking <laughs> 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 You look so silly. Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? Fuck up this time. Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of... Why don't you dress your grace first in Lord Tyrion? I respect. Because Tyrion said to her you look lovely. Or I start to say nothing. Him. I am honoured, your grace. Is it not honoured enough? I thought I'd kneel to the king. No. House Forrester is a new royal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, your grace. Hmm. And yet... Your incest bastard is my lord. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal <laughs> bannermen to House Stark. Well, yeah, it's not our story. I like how in my story, uh... Um, the king the wardens of the north. We all served Joffrey just got murked in his pyjamas. Yep. He was a hero that died with blood on his sword and full armor. Oh yeah, totally. While crying like a bitch. Do you know what he just said? What? Clever girl. <laughs> Clever girl. Your answer didn't Shoot. satisfy her, Mark. Well, yes. Fucking nope. It's not up to me. Who's also the start? Jeez. He is. And I, the Queen Regent, and Tyrion, the Master of Queen. Girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while in fact saying nothing. Why would you tell Cersei that? Like, you're right, she is being deceptive. Pretty much, yeah. Are not easily but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild yeah, please. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need to stay. Yes. Exactly. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forest. Absolutely. Foster Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. 
I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? I'm yes. Lannister, and they do whatever was necessary to save Lannister. Even fuck their brother. <laughs> that what, too? <laughs> Even possibly often fuck their brothers. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. Anything? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Tommen. Why you, Tyrion? <laughs> it raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renny Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day... Oh, Marv. Don't take it to heart. She's just a bitch. Can you fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? No. Yes. Oh. I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. <coughs> I'm getting drunk. Was Marjorie annoyed at that? So I tried to, like, to save her there. This city alone no, is that wasn't a good answer for her. Like it. You, can't, you don't necessarily... You can't necessarily you can't tell. tell. yeah. Who knows what lurks within there. Because everyone's playing the game here, so to speak. Yeah. You are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her <sighs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. What is this <laughs> shit you're on about? That must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were Make to this social intrigue between your king <laughs> and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure Let she the would. girl answer the question. Go on. My loyalties would be other country. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she can play games. Just because I'm out playing you, bitch. Mm-hmm. Just come smart enough to not. Can't out play her because she'll just go straight into combat. Yep. Shit, sure, you have to make a choice. <laughs> Getting awkward. Marjorie has the king. Said. Marjorie has the king. And she told me to play her and tell her what she wanted to hear. She yeah. Is a threat to the crowd, isn't she? <laughs> Why is he still going to voice acting this, but he was terrible as the Dinklebot? I bet he wasn't give, given very good direction yeah. for the Dinklebot. Well, none of the voice acting is great. Well, because people thing. probably said to him, like, oh, yeah, just just do whatever you want. You know, you're. You're, you're pretty Dinklage. You're pretty Dinklage. You can do whatever you want. And Never so he was like, voice acted before. Re- no, he did a bit of voice acting before. Did he? Yeah, he, he was he was originally a voice actor, oh, and then he got into television, I think. Um, but uh, I reckon they were kind of just a bit oh. awestruck by him. Oh, thank you, yeah. Bobby. Well, the Game of, Game of Thrones films. Yeah. Why was with Jon Snow? And then he didn't trust Bruce Bolton. Well, yeah. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honourable man. Thank you. And my condolences for his loss. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. So Tyrion plays the game, but he's always polite as well. It's interesting. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. Not really publicly either. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I did it for Lady Marjorie. Hmm, rather odd, if that's what she asked of you. But I'm sure she has your best interests in mind. She did ask me to say what Cersei wanted to hear. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in forcing them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another half. Master of coin inside such matters. The crowd needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crowd in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not be favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? What's it for? It may be false, uh, it's pledging to the crown rather than Marjorie. Ah. We we were making going to make a rule not to pause the game. All oh, right, okay. but it's okay. It's Marjorie uh, or Cersei. Basically, I, even suggested such a I can't. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion, but it's a risk I cannot afford. 
I admire your description. Because I, I only served the, I only said everything about the um, the king about serving the king for Marjorie. Thank you for the advice, Uh, for Marjorie. Yeah. yeah. This is not the norm. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Hmm. An interesting choice. Sure. It can be a murder of crows. It could be a dance of dragons. Do you mean a feast for crows? No. That shows where you were actually very bookable, considering what's in Hmm. Mira, I was worried. But what? Okay, so she killed you. It actually went all right. I didn't mean to press that one. Mm. Time. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? You. <laughs> Slut. <laughs> oh no, that's it there. That's what you want. Yeah, that's the one you want. That's the purple you viper. Oh. You'll have a purple viper by the time Mark I'm done with him. From what I've heard. Let's get ravaged by Oberyn. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Probably he gets ravaged by something else. Who knows? Oh. Who knows? You should be. Why did that look so snidely at her? She's a bit of a cunt. You big old creep. <laughs> that sounded like super obsessed girlfriend. <laughs> I would marry anyone for my family. That's a good point though. Well folks! Oh thanks, bitch! Yippee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> yeah. Yuck! <laughs> He'd be like he'd be like in the the saddle of a horse when they're having sex. She does not look happy. A giant ugly woman. Well, no, you've just been fucking with her uh, things. I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing around. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Smart girl. They say it is men who are powerful. Woo woo! Woman power. Fuck you all. Please. Actually, women just don't have very. You. They don't have a very good time for the Game of Thrones in general. Mm. It's not good. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. Where's the option to say? So was that a good performance for you, Marjorie? Mm. I don't think you can ask. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once I know the true heart, the northern ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it is. There you go. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I did have a favour to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. I know, I'm not saying. Yeah, she she looked at her. Um, oh, right. Your character looked at her. I trust her. If you trust her, I trust her. Go on. Ask. If you could ask Joffrey to intervene on behalf of my family, Ramsay Snow is on his way to to see my brother Ben the Knee. Jeez, Joffrey. If Joffrey Yuck. could send a raven and tell the Boltons no one House Forester is to be harmed. 
That is no small request. Especially now. Especially because Joffrey's a sadistic fuck. Yeah, I know, but Marjorie's come. knows only too well your family fought for the Stark. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. I will forever be in your debt. Well, you're already gonna work for me, so. <laughs> Not my family, though. 